Alrighty, you guys, we are out here today and we are fishing with a couple new things actually. We've got a new camera. Finally was able to switch over the channel from my old phone to my new phone. So now we've got a better, hopefully it's better anyway. Let me know down in the comments if this camera is better than my old camera. Because I've been stuck with my old camera for quite a long time. I'm going to take my hat off my head for a little bit. I've, I've been stuck with my camera for a long time and... Uh, finally got rid of it finally switched over to my new phone and uh, I want you guys to let me know if the camera quality is better with this camera because you know I won't be able to really tell by watching the video because my phone makes it look really bad when I watch my videos I don't know why that is but it does for whatever reason when I watch my own videos the camera quality goes to crap but when I watch it on somebody else's phone it looks actually decent, so I don't know why that is, but it does that sometimes. It used to, anyway. Hopefully with this phone it won't. Uh, but let me know if the quality is better with this camera. Uh, we're fishing actually with a new bait today as well. This is a new swim bait. This is the new 2-inch shad body style swim bait. It's a really good action. I like this action a lot. I think it should be a killer for some crappie and bluegill uh, and some smaller bass. This is what it looks like. Got this in green pumpkin color. Come on, camera, focus. There it goes. It's got a nice little scale pattern on it. Looks like it should be a fish catcher for sure. Uh, so we're gonna fish it with a fish it for a little bit, about maybe 10 minutes or so, fishing it with a little white jig head, uh, and let's see if we can catch a fish. I'm gonna fish for a few minutes here with this bait. I've got two other rods with me, one with a six-inch finesse worm, and one with a Dock Sewer Company flip out, so we'll switch over to that at some point as well. This bait here is going to be coming in a, a 16 pack for four dollars. 16 pack for four dollars should be a great bait. I like this bait already. Put it on a little jig head, slow roll it. I've gotten a few bites with it because I've been out here for about 20 25 minutes, uh, but I don't think they're really wanting to hit a moving bait. Oh, and I say that, and I... Oh, no, he came off. Darn it, no. And I, I say that I don't think they're eating a moving bait, and I get a fish. Look at that crap, y'all. See what happens? This, this type of crap happens to me all the time. You, are, you guys would actually be shocked at how many fish I catch all, right after I turn the camera off. You guys would actually be shocked at the amount of fish that I catch right after I turn the camera off. Well, there it was. I could have had it, but I didn't let him eat it, I don't think. I think I should have let him eat it just a little shade bit more. But hey, you y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. So, does it count, though? Doesn't count as a first fish. I guess since I don't, I wasn't able to hold it and wasn't able to take a picture with it, it doesn't count. That's what I'm going to say. So, that, that, type of, that type of crap happens to me all the time. Y'all would be absolutely amazed at the amount of fish that I catch, like, within within the first, like, 20 seconds after I turn the camera off. One day, let me take my hat off, fix it for a second. My hat's not really wanting to cooperate for some reason. But one day I was out fishing, and uh, one of the most memorable ones was I was out fishing and uh, I made a cast. I was throwing a bluegill colored uh, spinner bait with a uh, four inch Dox Lure Company swim bait trailer. That's what I was throwing. And uh, I made a cast and I was like, you know what, man, I'm not getting bit with this. So I turned my camera off and I, was, I picked my rod back up and I started reeling after I turned my camera off. And a fish just came up and whacked this thing like right after I picked up the rod and, and I just turned my camera off. It was literally the same cast after I turned my camera off and, and I couldn't do nothing about it. All I did was take a short little quick, quick uh, video of it. Like, hey, I caught this fish, blah, 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 blah. That's all I could do. Right after I say that I don't think the fish are eating moving baits, I hook up into one. Now, if I can only catch it, catch one, at least one. I don't care how big it is or even if it's a bass. I want to catch a fish with this bait today. I think it could happen. 
I think it could happen since I've gotten at least one decent bite and I hooked him I just didn't land him which kind of sucks but you know what it happens it's not called catching it's called fishing you have to you know the whole whole part of it is to hook the fish and then you have to land it and sometimes the landing part is what gets you I've hooked some really big fish and lost them because I could hook them I just couldn't land them something I like about this swim bait is it's a lot like the two inch swim bait in the fact that I can still feel the vibration uh, of the bait of the tail through the rod I like that I like that a lot I like that I can feel uh, the bait if it has a piece of grass on it or something I can I can feel it so that's always a good thing that fish there the bait just pretty much just stopped but even though I just got a bite on it a few casts ago I'm gonna still switch over I'm gonna flip with the flip out a little bit uh, and see if I can catch a fish we're gonna fish for just a few minutes longer maybe maybe five that's already six minutes into this video so we're probably gonna fish for maybe three or four minutes more uh, and then we'll switch back over to uh, work time because I've been fishing for about 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And uh, I need to get some work done, which I don't know if I'm going to even do any work. I might just work out uh, because with the weather being the way it's being right now, we won't really need any wood for... I don't even think in the next 10 days we won't even need a fire so I don't even know if I'm going to do actually any work because I've been doing a lot of work that I didn't really need to do in the first place uh, I might just actually work out I might just you know put on some awesome sounding music and uh, work out get the uh, the redneck dumbbell that I have uh, which is basically just a piece of metal solid piece of metal uh, rod I think it's called a suckle rod, but anybody who's ever worked in the oil field will know exactly what that is. Uh, it's basically just a big piece of suckle rod. And uh, we have two back lawnmower tires on it. That's my dumbbell. That's what I use as a dumbbell. Uh, I also have like a five, I think it's about five foot long piece of uh, telephone pole that I use as well. And I also have the trails which you guys have never really seen the trails you guys have seen this part though trails go all the way from right here all the way back it goes this way and it goes that way all the way back through to the other end of the property uh, which is the trails that I normally will run if I feel like running that's what I'll do I'll just run through the trails uh, but I probably won't do a whole lot of running probably just do a lot of lifting up oh there's a fish there's a fish that's a pretty decent sized wake right over there as well. Come on, bite. It was right over there and it looked like it was moving that way so I kind of cast it over that way. I don't know though, I might have just messed it up. Maybe cast it in the wrong direction. Alrighty, we're about ready to be done with this, I think, here pretty soon. We'll make a few a few more flips, not a whole lot more. Then I'll have to shut her down. Y'all seen that fish, though? Would you count it as me being skunked? I probably won't get skunked today because I'll go fishing after I get done working out. I'll probably go and uh, throw that swim bait a little bit more after I get done working out. Because I'm only working out literally like right over there behind the house. So it's not like I have too far to go. I'll probably leave my rods out here. Uh, get my iPod. Start listening to some music. And uh, doing my own thing. If you guys want to want to uh, see what kind of music I'm listening to. Uh, check the description. Because I'll probably put a couple. One or two links of the songs that I've been listening to here recently. Uh, down in the description if you even made it this far in the video thank you guys for watching we're about done uh, I'm going to kind of end it here in a little bit fish this bait back in and then we'll probably end it oh there's something just moved yep right over there 
right over there on that brush pile there's it, it's still there I think I think that fish is still there we just need to make a better better presentation over there we could probably walk around if I had rubber boots on which I don't I have Crocs so up before I turn this camera off I'm gonna make at least one good presentation over there because there might be a fish sitting right there made a good cast we'll fish this bait back to me and then I'll end the video It doesn't look like a fish is on it. Might have spooked him. Alrighty. I think we're about done here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. If you've made it back this far into the video, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if, you, if you guys want me to do a video showing you guys how I work out and stuff, I might, I might do that. I don't know. I might do a video uh, of how I work out every day. Uh, if you guys Only if you guys want me to, though. Because... Honestly, I don't care if I do or don't. I'm going to be trying to do at least two or three videos this week uh, out fishing because the weather is going to be really, really good. The past, this weekend is saying calling for 70 degree weather for the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So Saturday, if I don't go fishing with my mom, dad, and brother, hopefully I'll be able to go fishing with my cousins. If I don't, then I will probably just grab my four-wheeler and drive somewhere by myself because the weather is going to be too freaking good not to go. But anyway, thank y'all for watching once again. Um, sorry I didn't catch a fish in this video, but y'all hopefully seen that. I'll go, I'll review the footage and see if, if I caught that fish on camera. Uh, but anyway, thank y'all for watching once again. Bye.